Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today, before I start the main video, I have a birthday message. I want to wish a very happy birthday to James's dad, Brian, who will be 60 today. So, happy birthday, Brian. I hope you have a great day and I hope there's cake. So, happy birthday to you. Today's video it's going to be another one for the Streets of Blackpool series and this video is going to be Charles Street There we go Charles Street starts on King Street and runs all the way down I think it finished on Gorton Street, I'm not actually sure We'll find out together at the end Here to the right, we've got number five Charles Street, professional massage. On this side, we've got some really cool Star Wars art, a Bosco Italian restaurant and pizzeria van. Used to be Monster Sink tattoo parlour, but it looks closed right now. Street and crossing now is Topping Street. Topping Street is already on the Streets of Blackpool series. On the left here we've got Fred Star, African Caribbean supermarket. On the right, Alps House Business Centre, property investments, property consultants, etc. And from then on, this is mainly residential quite a narrow street, all the roads narrow, but the houses are really tall, they're all three storey, or maybe some are even four storey if they have a basement, or I don't know, a loft. So I'm just going to do what I did with Milbourne Street and we're going to keep the camera in the middle as I walk down. That looks cool. Sunny side. Looks very cheerful and pretty. A few guest houses down here as well. Just past the Edinburgh and the Sunhaven. When you come to Blackpool, you know, you can find little hotels and little guest houses on most of these smaller streets. And they look really nice. You don't always have to stay close to the prom. This is Grosvenor Street, what I'm crossing now. You can see Sainsbury's there to the left. But we are just heading straight down Charles Street. That looks interesting. Little arched windows and an arched doorway. I do like that. Ainley Court. And there, that building there says Charter House. Looks closed up and boarded up. Not sure what went on in there. Some big gates there in an empty spot. Could fit a nice house in that spot. This is another really quiet street to walk down. Super quiet really. It's another one of those peaceful, relaxing days. The street I'm coming up to now is Buchanan Street. That's another one that is mainly residential. Most of the streets around here are. I'm not sure what that property was ever for, but it says YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, MySpace. LinkedIn wanted teleappointers and sales reps. So I'm not sure what that business was ever for. Advertising of something. That 
looks like a little apartment built on top of an old garage or I don't know what kind of building that was because they've got what looks like a door up there lowering things out maybe and I'm almost at the bottom of Charles Street now Could be chemist there, doesn't have a name on it. Some of the newer looking apartments and houses on that side. Street I'm crossing now is Elizabeth Street. And we are pretty close to the bottom now folks. It's a short walk and a peaceful street. Now we've got the JC Rehabilitation Clinic, Musculoskeletal Rehabilitation Therapy. I'm quite proud of myself how I think I got that word the first time. Usually I fluff words like that and I have to record myself saying them about four or five times. There you've got the Blackpool and Fowl reconditioned catering equipment. That looks very much closed. There, that says Warriors Boxing. Warrior Boxing and Fitness. Boxing tuition for all ages. That looks cool. I like that artwork on there. That looks like a nice place. And here looks like the end of Charles Street. And this finishes on Gorton Street, so I was right. It just finished on Gorton Street, same as Milbourne Street. My mum used to live on Gorton Street when she was little, but her house isn't there anymore. It used to flood a lot apparently. She used to tell me when I was younger how it would always flood. Just walked through a puddle, that was fun. Just stay on this little path and I will finish this video on Victory Road. There we go. So that folks was Charles Street and it finishes here, this is George Street that runs down there and the one that runs down there is Victory Road So I'm going to turn the camera up back into the direction and I think I'll do the same as what I did with my other video and I'll finish the Charles Street video facing up Charles Street same thing as I did with the Milbourne Street video. You've got to see a few different places today. That's good. I like filming different places. Look at that sky everybody, look how nice and blue that is. And there the sun is shining brightly into the camera. I'm sure that'll look nice on video right now. It's just pretty much shining right in my face. But when you look up Charles Street, same as Milbourne Street, you do get a great view of the tower. It's not quite so much head on. You can zoom in right on the top of the tower from here. Your best view actually 
the straight on view is the church. I can zoom right in on that. The tower's slightly off to the left. You can see the tower there, but the main zoom would be on the top of the church. That's a pretty good zoom, look at that. Just have to hold it still for a second. Let's go out again. Oops. I kind of wobbled the camera around then when I was zooming out. Well, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Please hit that like button. Please subscribe. Maybe even leave a comment too. And I shall see you all very soon in the next video. Goodbye.